Hello there, my friends. How are you today? It's my favorite day of the week, Wednesday, because as you know, it's Intuitive Eating Wisdom Wednesday. I'm just going to check to be sure that I am uh, live here in our group. Uh, yep, I am. Here we go. All right, let's get this party started. If you're here with me, come say hello. If you're on replay, hashtag replay. Today is Wednesday. That means I'm here to drop some intuitive eating wisdom. What is intuitive eating? If you're unsure, if you're new to this entire concept, I do have a video training that I could tag you in on how to get started with intuitive eating. We're going to touch on it just a little bit today. Um, but as you know, and welcome, welcome, I should say to the new members who have joined us. So happy that you're here again. When you join me live, come say hello. And if you could really, I would really appreciate if you can give me a thumbs up or a heart or something, cause it lets the algorithm know, Hey, Bonnie's live and other people can join us and, or at least watch the replay and benefit. So if you can do that, that would be great. As you know, I am Bonnie. I am the host of this wonderful community, and I help women improve their health without dieting and food restriction. So eating is easy, it's enjoyable, and it's nourishing to your body and your mind because most likely you have been trying to improve your health or manage some health conditions that you've had through dieting, through food restriction, in an effort to lose weight, because that's what the message is out there. If you, if that's the message you've heard, drop a comment, let me know. Yes, that's me. Yes, I hear that. Uh, and if you want to improve your health, if that is a value for you, then I'm here to tell you, you can do that without the dieting, without the restriction, the deprivation, which leads to the binge eating, you can actually have eating be very uncomplicated. So today we are going to touch on eating intuitively when you have health issues. Very specifically, I want to touch today on diabetes or pre-diabetes, but anything that I say in relation to managing diabetes really can be taken to managing health issues in general. Because at the end of the day, we are learning how to listen to the messages of our body in a way that we can provide our body with the right energy and the nourishment to manage all the health issues that we have without thinking I'm right or wrong, I'm, I'm good or I'm bad based on those diet culture messages. So let's touch on diabetes, right? There's type one diabetes, there's type two diabetes. Type one diabetes is when your pancreas just does not make any insulin. You have to get insulin from an external source. Type two is when your body produces either less insulin and or it becomes resistant. So there is an insulin resistance present. Now it can definitely be a struggle knowing that, oh, I've got diabetes or pre-diabetes. So I need to quote unquote count my carbs. I need to balance it out with whatever insulin my um, pancreas is producing because this is how I get to manage my blood sugar levels, right? And so many people will have this um, conflict, this inner conflict, because they feel like they have to, quote unquote, stick to a diabetes diet, you know, forever and again, and they'll never be able to therefore have true freedom around food, but I'm here to tell you that it is certainly not the case. It is absolutely possible for you to be an intuitive eater, to eat intuitively, even if you do have diabetes or any other health issues such as cardiovascular disease, gut issues, and so forth. So if you have that thought that I have X condition, medical issue, and mm, I'm going to have to eat differently, I can't quote unquote, do intuitive eating, let me know in the comments if this is something that you've been thinking about. So let's look at some practical tips for practicing intuitive eating while you're also managing diabetes. And if you have, don't have diabetes, but you have another health issue, post a comment below and we'll touch on, okay, so how can we take this concept and bring it to that disease? So the first is removing judgment. So very important. A big part of being intuitive with yourself is disregarding any judgment around food and your body. In order to properly really anti-diet, right, so not to fall into the dieting trap, it's very important to have gratitude for your body 
to um, have have um, to accept the body where it is right now versus you know having your full-time job being trying to shrink your body because we don't have as much quote unquote control over our body as diet culture wants us to think that we do instead of feeling upset that maybe you need to really take a close look at your carbs in your mind you may need to track it or count it right just challenge that idea remind yourself that you are doing all that you can to keep your body in its healthiest state remember it does not mean that carbs are off limits as a matter of fact we all need carbs right those poor carbs they get such a bad rap Listen, carbs are the preferred fuel source for our body, for our brain, and yes, even if you have diabetes. So the idea really is, okay, you have diabetes, you may need to quote unquote watch those carbs. It doesn't mean limit those carbs, and it doesn't mean watch them as if you are like, oh my God, good, bad, no. It means pay attention to how your body responds, your blood sugar responds when you eat a certain amount of carb or certain types of carbs. It's not morally right or wrong, okay? You must understand that carbs are really important for all of us to have, even especially if you have diabetes, okay? So go about facing those carbs from the right perspective. You're going to get the data. You're not judging yourself from eating them and you don't need to fear carbs when you have diabetes. The second idea here is gentle nutrition. I know it may seem that certain foods are quote unquote not allowed when you're trying to manage blood sugar or other health issues and you can still, you know, but I want you to know you absolutely can still enjoy the foods that you enjoy while feeding your body to help it function properly. It's all in the perspective, my friend. It's all in your perspective. So instead of saying to yourself that you're not allowed to eat refined carbs and they're bad for you, let's focus on including more whole grains into your eating style, into your eating plan, whether it's oatmeal or it's quinoa, to help manage those blood sugars because we're adding what? We're adding fiber while also pairing it with some of those simple carbs, those refined carbs that you may love and you enjoy. So rather than saying, I can't have them at all, because listen, what happens when we say we can't have them at all? We can only not have them for so long until the deprivation becomes so strong that you end up binge eating on them. And binge eating on those favorite foods foods will worsen your blood sugars than if you learn how to incorporate them in a way that feels neutral. So before you, you know, yeah, so that's what I wanted to say. Third, let me go to point number three, is really work to respect your body. The number one thing you need to do to become an intuitive eater is to literally stop body bashing, okay? Well, it's one of the things. Because the more you body bash, the more you worry about your body, the more that fuels the dieting cycle, right? Food, body worry leads to food worry, which leads to their continued cycle. So here's the thing. We want to move into a place of respect. Please do not take blame if you have diabetes. How many people have said to me, like, it's all my fault because I have diabetes. I ate too many carbs or I ate too much sugar. That is false. That is not the case at all. It is not your fault. So before you make any hurtful comments about your body or you start to compare yourself to others, remember that you are wonderfully made. Your body is doing its absolute best to keep you alive, to keep you functioning. So let's work to show it respect. The more we can remove the judgment from our body and move into a place of gratitude and respect to give the body what it needs, the more you will see that the journey will open up for you having diabetes or any health issue does not refrain me refrain you from showing love to your body and practicing intuitive eating you know it may take a few extra steps because yes let's face it we all know that there are certain foods to support blood sugar management to support heart health to support a healthy gut absolutely but we don't want to move into a place of 
morality around these foods and certainly not into a place of that restrictive mindset because that will end up causing that obsession that you have and that feeling deprived and then that's not going to pan out. So for all I said here, I want you to understand that when you effectively take this whole anti-diet approach um, into your life, you really bring it on, you take it on and you still care for your body and provide your body with what it needs, you are going to feel your best physically and mentally. Because when you move into a place of restriction or blame or feeling guilt, you don't take care of yourself. Your body feels it. Mentally, you're harming yourself as well. So let me summarize this for you one more time. Don't be angry at yourself, please, for eating and enjoying carbs and, and, and sugars when you have diabetes. You're human. You deserve to enjoy them, to eat them. Learn how to intuitively bring them into your life while also choosing foods to best manage those blood sugar levels. You can do that. I teach my clients how to do that all the time. Number two, you are absolutely allowed to eat the foods you like. Don't move into that place of allowed and not allowed and good and bad and rules around it. Oftentimes, when you pair those foods with more fibrous foods, for example, you will see a better post-meal blood sugar level. And number three, your body is trying its best. Let's work to respect it. What can you do today to show gratitude for your body, to respect your body, and to practice positive self-talk? Allow yourself to move into that place because I could promise you when you stop the bashing and the berating and the negative self-talk and the criticism and the, you know, just blaming yourself for whatever health issue you have, diabetes or otherwise, right? It opens up your path to really be able to tune inward to your body, to hear the messages of your body, and then to make food choices that, yes, honor your health, honor your body, but and using that information as data after you choose to eat something and how do I feel and what are my blood sugars looking like, etc., or my other labs for that matter, and then use that data to inform future food decisions. It's not about eat this, don't eat that. Never, never, never. That will just get you suckered back into that diet culture and that diet mentality. So remember, I am here to help women improve their health without dieting, without restriction, because food should not be complicated. Food should not be so torturous in your life. So, um, it should be easy. I'm thinking about something a client just said to me the other day. She says, I never thought that I could experience so much freedom around food while also working towards improving my health. And that's what I want for you as well. So I want you to know I help women do this. If you're interested, I've got four spots left for April enrollment in my Whole Body Trust Intuitive Eating Program. I had opened five slots on Monday. One is taken. I have four more that will go quickly. So if you're watching this video or you're on replay and you want to learn a little more about what the Whole Body Trust Intuitive Eating Coaching Program is all about to help you get back to a place of trusting yourself with food, trusting your body, really igniting and connecting back to the inner signals so you can work on improving your health, just comment below this video or send me a direct message and we will chat. I will give you the details. We'll see if it's right for you. I'm only taking um, calls through April 15th. I'm sure by the end of um, this weekend, those uh, four slots left will be taken. So if you have any interest at all, please reach out to me. We'll see if it's a good fit for you. All right, that's all I've got for you today. Please hashtag replay, post your thoughts, your questions, your comments, and I will see you back here next time. Bye for now.